Hi Gemini, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are their current feelings for you? What are their current feelings for you? So whoever you have in your mind that you're interested, um, whoever you're thinking about and you're wondering what are their feelings for you, this video is going to be for you. So I've already shuffled the deck and I have the cards ready so we can just go ahead and get started here. First card we have for you, Gemini, is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. So I'm feeling like they're feeling overwhelmed. Um, I feel like they feel overwhelmed. There's a lot of things that are going on in their life. There's a lot of challenges here and a lot of um, difficulties or problems or obstacles in their life there's a lot of battles that they're fighting um, and they don't quite have the time to dedicate to you um, I feel like they're just consumed with a lot of um, a lot of different issues that they have in their personal life um, let's see what else we have we have the card of the hangman so I feel like they're holding back um, they're holding back from you. I do feel like they have passion for you, though. I feel an energy of this person really liking you and being interested in you. However, with the hangman, they, they're feeling like it's not the right time. and It's not the right um, moment. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that they have to figure out. Um, and to they have to think about and analyze. But it doesn't particularly relate to you. It's to their own personal life and their own personal issues. So they're kind of staying reserved and staying um, quiet and not making any moves towards you. They want to wait for a better time. Um, and like I said, right now they, they're feeling like it's not the right time at the, at the moment. Next card we have here is the Seven of Pentacles. So they're working on something. They're, they have something that they are, they've been putting a lot of time and effort into. And I feel like this might be what they're waiting to, um, they're waiting for this to, to come to fruition um, before they make any sort of offer to you or for before they make any sort of move towards you so with the seven of pentacles I feel like they've been working on um, creating stability for themselves creating uh, a security and in their life um, seven of pentacles has to do with practical matters in their life financial matters in their life so they've been working slowly to get themselves in a good place, in a stable place, um, where they can be self-sufficient and where they can be um, a provider. Um, and I feel like a self-provider and a provider for others. So I feel like this is what they're waiting for here. The next card we have here is the Four of Wands. So they are um, interested in in having uh, a relationship with you, I feel, um, Gemini. They, like I said, they do feel a lot of passion for you and they feel a lot of love for you and they do see you as someone who they could um, be with and be happy with in terms of having a, love, a loving relationship and a passionate relationship here. And there's a family here, so in um, having a family with you. Um, so I do feel like um, they are wanting this and they are thinking about it. Next card we have is the Ten of Swords. So again, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are weighing heavy on them. There's a lot of mental conflict, um, a lot of negative thoughts in going on in their mind. They have a lot of worries and concerns. But again, I don't feel like it has to do anything with you. It has to do with their own personal issues. And there's a lot of things that are still um, um, things that they are connected with from their past. 
So a lot of past issues that have not been resolved yet for them. And they're, they're working on ending a lot of things in their life and, um, and on clearing the slate and creating a, a new beginning and a new start for themselves. And the card of justice. So for some of you, this person is married. This person is dealing with um, a, legal, a legal situation in their life. Um, like I said, it could be marriage or perhaps it's not marriage. It could be something else. But it's something legal with the card of justice. So I do feel like there's a lot of um, court for some of you. It's not going to be for everyone. There's a lot of court proceedings and a lot of court um, court related affairs that they have to deal with and that they have to resolve and take care of especially with this ten of swords energy um, I feel like this is what's he weighing heavy on them there's they're trapped in in something legal um, and they're waiting to um, clear themselves of this um, before making any sort of move towards you and making, creating a new beginning with you. And we have here the sun, which is a card of new beginnings. The sun is having, is renewal, rejuvenation. Um, yeah, it's a card of happiness. Um, Self-happiness, happiness within their own selves. So that they and so that they can give happiness to others. So I feel like this is where they're going to. They're they're walking towards this energy, the energy of the sun, where um, they're like reborn, and they they have actually they have something to offer you because they're in a good place and um, they can then offer you a good life and a good opportunity here with them. So I do feel like they're on they're on the road to this to this new energy of new life new being like born again that's what I feel here It's the sun so it could be by the solar eclipse um uh the solar eclipse is on December 14 2020 so it can be by that time where this person finally um has fixed all of their issues and are ready to um, make a move towards you and come and um, they're ready to offer you something and be the person that you deserve. So that's what I feel Gemini. I hope this reading was helpful. I hope it made sense to somebody. If it did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye Gemini. <laughs>